Get your ass up. Get your ass up. Get your ass up. Why are you sitting down? <laughs> just kidding. It's an inanimate object. So I'm just going to set him up right there. Okay. This is my friend Ducky. He's in all my videos. Oh, well, just kidding. Not really all of them. Just the ones that I film at my childhood home in Michigan. I'm in Michigan right now. So I'm not in New York, which is really sad, but also really happy because coronavirus. Am I right? <laughs> Great. So now that you guys are here, my name is Naka. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Rebranding it Hi Black Girl because here we're talking about beauty and finance. Essentially because we are keeping it cute, sis, and securing the bag. Because why, you know, can't we just be multifaceted human beings that are interested in both beauty and finance? Because, you know, you have to use money to pay for your skincare stuff. So, I mean, you need to manage the money correctly. Am I right? Yes, I am right. Duh. So in today's video, we are talking all about the Thayer's Rose Facial Toner, which is honestly an affordable favorite because, bitch, guess how much this costs? Guess. Yes, $10. That's insane for any toner on the market. So without further ado, let's just hop right on into this video, shall we? Oh, wait. There is a little bit of a do. I, I forgot. So can you just like click that button and, and subscribe? Can you just just subscribe? Just subscribe. I work really hard to make these videos and like I just really need you to do this one thing for me because like Julius is just as great as Caesar and um, <laughs> That's Caesar. Brutus is just as cute as Caesar. Okay, Brutus is just as smart as Caesar. People totally like Brutus just as much as they like Caesar. And when did it become okay for one person to be the boss of everybody, huh? Because that's not what Rome is about. We should totally just stab Caesar! <sighs> okay, so in this video, I'm going to break down three things. Three things. One, two, and three. One, we're going to go through an overview of the Thayer's brand, who they are, what they stand for, all that fun stuff, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Number two, I'm going to be breaking down all the ingredients that are in this lovely bottle. Well, not really in this lovely bottle because it's empty, but if you purchase a new one, this should be what you should expect to get in the new one. I'm going over the ingredients, okay? Um, and then lastly, we're gonna wrap it all up with a cute little bow and it's just gonna be you know my final thoughts on the brand and yeah if I would repurchase this product or not which is you know essentially what you're here for so without further ado let's start with uh numero uno <laughs> great so Thayer's was actually created in like 1823 or some shit literally crazy how old this brand is but it's like an american staple so essentially dr thayer was born i think in 1823 i think he graduated from harvard in 1847 i'm saying i think like i didn't actually do the research these are facts that i looked up so dr thayer was really all about trying to find ways to extract medicine from plant and use them in like modern medicine modern in quote because you know i don't know if the 1800s are modern considering it's now 2020 but then you know modern medicine so he dedicated his entire career to really like finding the perfect way to create essences from like tea tree oils and witch hazel and all these different things he really believed in like you know natural herbal herbal herb herbal medicine everdevic medicine so he was a really just you know just one guy trying to make some medicine and he made he bought all these factories in which he did all the you know the labbing and the chemicals and the processing all that fun stuff himself um you know but then he died and um his daughter was left with the business and she said <laughs> Psh, skincare bitch 
And that's how Thyers was really made. So um, when his daughter took over the business, she really kind of focused on beauty products, which is where we kind of get into Witch Hazel, which is their hero brand and is really found in all the products they made. Honestly, because, you know, her dad did perfect, you know, that uh, process of getting, you know, pure Witch Hazel. Um, and she just, you know, she was like, fuck that medicine. I'm going to, so I'm, I'm, we're making skincare here. That's what we're doing. That's what I care about. And you know, honestly, more power to her. She sounds like a boss ass bitch. Um, so more things about Thayer's, 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 Thayer. <laughs> um, yeah, so they make all of their stuff within the United States. So they are a uh, tried and true blue blood all American brand all of their witch hazel which is actually a flower like I didn't realize that witch hazel was a plant for a long time um but yeah so it's actually a flower they work with this local farm in like Connecticut to kind of source all of their fresh witch hazel directly to their factories in Boston so yeah it's very small very local if you're getting it in the United States like you should rest assured knowing that all of your ingredients were locally sourced and are certified organic. So without further ado, let's hop into phase two of this video, a breakdown of the ingredients. So the first ingredient in this bad boy is water, which is honestly what we look for in all skincare brands. You know, if it's not water, then I would want it to be like an, a natural oil based. Uh, but this is actually purified water is going to be the first ingredient here. So you can rest assured that your skin is safe and getting plenty of water. And the second ingredient is glycerin, which is a humectant. Uh, and so that essentially just helps the water in your skin, you know, meet and make love like this. Not washing your hands, even though you should be washing your hands a lot more because coronavirus. Do that, please. Uh, but yeah, so glycerin is just a humectant. It really helps, you know, the skin to absorb the water. It helps the water to really stick into the skin so that's a fantastic second ingredient to see i do want to highlight that this glycerin and this particular formulation is not certified organic so that means it's likely a chemical that was just derived and like not naturally you know found in a plant um if you're looking at labels uh vegetable glycerin which would certify or the term vegetable glycerin will mean it's like a natural glycerin found in the environment. And if you just see glycerin, that means it's probably, uh, you know, kind of made in a lab and chemically based. Moving on. So the third ingredient is their certified organic witch hazel, which I mentioned earlier in the video is locally sourced from uh, Connecticut on like a small family owned like farm, which is honestly so heartwarming and just so cute i love that they do that uh so yeah that's gonna be the third ingredient being the third it means it's you know going to be the third most potent ingredient and honestly it's their hero item and their toner it's literally called thyers witch hazel rose petal facial toner so that's a hero ingredient that you will find in throughout their entire product line, whether it's a moisturizer, sunscreen, what have you, it's always going to have that witch hazel in it. Uh, I do want to highlight here that witch hazel contains naturally tannis, which is an ingredient that uh, is known to kind of dry out the skin. Uh, so this is really great if you have oily skin like me, because <laughs> my skin gets really oily, honey, and it is not cute especially when I'm wearing makeup and then I have my makeup on and then suddenly it's just like oil 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 like and then my whole makeup just feels like a slip and slide on my face I hate it uh but you know with this with that witch hazel and that ingredient tannis it really works to like cancel out like oil on your skin it like just it sucks it up and it throws it out just spits it out Oh wait, I forgot to mention. So Witch Hazel actually does a lot of really great things and I'm just gonna read them to you right now. So Witch Hazel relieves inflammation, reduces irritation, fights acne, protects sun against skin damage, and wards off infection. So Witch Hazel is a really great ingredient to have in your natural skincare products. Now we're moving on to ingredient number four. So the fourth ingredient in this beautiful, fantastic, amazing witch hazel product is going to be aloe vera juice, which is, oh, 
one of my holy grails i love aloe vera juice and so essentially what it does is it helps reduce inflammation and really just helps to calm and soothe the skin which is really amazing if you do suffer from acne or you know if you're like me your cat scratches your face because you're trying to give them a bath that happened um it can really help you know help help your face so i love having aloe vera and all of my ingredients is something i look for um so yeah it's a really great natural ingredient you can also kind of just buy it at like grocery stores and stuff but i also use aloe vera juice in my hair like i just it's so great i love it so the fifth ingredient so the fifth ingredient is going to be rose water which is amazing it has a lot of natural properties and it's also helping it give that rose petal fragrance naturally because it's rose water rose water has vitamins a b c d chicken turkeys rat you name beans greens potatoes tomatoes lamb rams hogs dogs beans greens potatoes tom and it also has vitamin b3 so it's very great for the skin um and a very good ingredient to have it's uh natural number since is natural fragrance so we don't really know what that means but i'm assuming and hoping fingers crossed it's just rose essential oil natural fragrance to give you that rosy that rosy smell okay and so now ingredients number eight and number nine are very hard to pronounce um the number eight i'm just gonna read it because i don't know how to do that it's um caperlila glycol which is an alcohol it's a natural alcohol found in nature because it's natural okay so it can be naturally derived from plants animals and soy milk and coconut milk so that's a good sign uh thyers does not specify which way they get their glycol so i don't really know how they're deriving it but it's nice to know that it's a natural alcohol and that it can be found reoccurring in nature so it shouldn't be too abrasive on the skin Okay, Lord, please be with me as I try to pronounce this nice ingredient. Exoglycerin. If you saw glycerin and thought humectant, yay! You're learning. I'm learning. We're learning together. So uh, glycerin is a humectant, which means it helps water stick to the skin and, you know, just absorb all of it uh so this is a glycerin slash alcohol combo the d -d 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 glycerin is derived from glycerin um and it, it kind of it's pretty natural it's super natural kind of i don't really know how they get it to be that way but it's from glycerin also i think it's pretty fair to say that some studies you know done at the university of paris found this to be a mild irritant so they do not recommend using it uh but you know no one's perfect so the tenth ingredient is citric acid which you know if you're thinking lemons if you're thinking oranges if you're thinking limes you are correct citric acid is really great for skin brightening um so if you have dark spots hyperpigmentation acne scars things of that nature citric acid is really great for this uh, a lot of people use just you know lemon juice and sugar and make like a homemade diy sugar scrub which i would highly recommend but this product also has citric acid in it so it's going to have some brightening properties as well naturally which is fantastic so the last one is potassium hydroxide which is that too <laughs> but anyway uh on a serious note lyle used in small concentrations is used to help kind of balance the ph levels you know balance the ph levels of products so essentially it's just making sure that this is not too high of a ph level for your skin our skin is normally at like a 5.5 uh so the they don't specify what ph level this is but that's why that ingredient is used in here just to balance the ph of the product so out of 11 ingredients six ding 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 ding, ding are yeah! organic so my final thoughts here is that this is just amazing one it's great for your wallet it's coming in at like 
ten dollars and honestly i saw it on amazon and some other retailers for only eight dollars so i really think it's a huge huge value for the price point and it has so many natural certified organic ingredients i think it's simply a no-brainer i do want to you know kind of address those aestheticians and their thoughts on you know which hazel being a little too drying Personally, if you have, oil, personally for me, I have oily skin, so I don't mind if a product really dries me out. When I use this toner, I always follow up with my hydrating essence, so it really just really moisturizes my skin, really hydrates my skin, and I do then, you know, follow a 10 step skincare routine regimen, so I am using serums and oils and moisturizers. So I never have an issue with my skin being too dry, but I do have an issue with my skin being too oily. So that is why I love this product and why I love Wood Hazel as a toner overall. If you aren't doing, you know, an elaborate 10 step skincare routine, it's fine, don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you're following up with a moisturizer or a facial oil after using a toner just to ensure that you're not drying out your skin too much. I know if you have oily skin, you, you think, you know, you can't put more oil on it, but you will be mistaken. Like, actually, when I started using oils in my skincare routine, it really helped balance out, like, the oily nature of my skin. I think it has to do with um, when your skin thinks it's, like, dry it produces a whole shit ton of oils it's like dry skin psh, oil you're super dry psh, oil 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 but if you're putting oil on your skin your skin's like oh this is nice i'm i'm moisturized i don't need to produce so much oil so it works for me and i hope it works for you too I am definitely going to be repurchasing this product. Right now, I am going through more toners and testing out other toners for you guys so I can leave reviews. But if you're looking for a nice, affordable toner, this is definitely one of my favorites. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week for a new video. Bye, guys.